For those of you guys who don't know, that's Macy, my girlfriend. Most of you guys probably know. But we're doing a challenge today, but of course we had to pick up some Jimmy John's beforehand. We're, we have to drive about an hour, hour to this lake, and we are gonna be doing a challenge. It is the, it's the uh, Barbie rod versus uh, Avenger. Might have just broke the rod. We're gonna fish for like an hour and uh, have a little competition. Always a friendly competition, right? Well, made it to the lake. That right there's the lake. So like I said, we're doing the uh, the Barbie challenge. Got the Barbie rod here, Avenger rods here. They light up, which is which is lit. So for the rules of this video challenge is we can only use those two rods. I literally don't have another rod with me, so uh, if I don't like it too bad, if they don't work too bad, we have to figure it out. But we're what we're doing is we're taking three lures. We're taking a top water lure, a moving bait, and then like a bottom bait. And Macy and I, we each get the exact same three, and so we can rotate those three. If I want to throw top water and she wants to throw the bottom bait, she can, but we can only choose from those three lures. So I'm gonna get the boat into the lake, and then I'll show you those three lures, and we'll start the challenge. I made it on the lake with uh, with her, so we gotta take, unbox or unpackage the the rods, pick out the three baits we're gonna use, tie tie one of them on in, and start the challenge. All right, so I, again, I've got the uh, the light up Avengers Barbie, and just for the record, we bought these like I don't know two three. We bought these like two or three months ago, because I know it's been kind of like the the trendy thing to do is the Barbie ride challenge, and it's, I'm not saying that I made it up or anything, but. We did, we bought these like three months ago and we finally just found time to, to get out and fish against each other. Just just wanted to put that out there. Oh, these things are these things are actually pretty stiff. I can catch some, some uh, pair of 10 pounders with this thing. So these are the uh, the lures. We've got a Ned Rig, a little uh, bluegill uh, square bill, and then uh, some, some sort of popper. There's a white one and a, and a chrome one. But that's essentially like what we have to choose from. Uh, you, what you guys just missed was about 30 minutes. Macy... <laughs> She thinks it's funny. She broke her pole. I didn't break it. She broke her pole. You just told me that it wasn't my fault. <laughs> just to make you feel better. She broke her pole and it took me 30 minutes to fix it and I was this close to pulling a parrot and just chucking it in the water. Like, it took everything from me not to do it. But, you guys don't care about that. We're gonna start the challenge. So what lure, what lure do you wanna start with? The little, like, worm type. The worm. So she wants to start with the Ned Rig. I think I'm gonna start with the Ned Rig too. This may just be a Ned Rig fest. That's, That's uh... Funny. It's a, uh, it's just a technique that's hard to beat. So we're both gonna tie on the Ned Rig. Oh my God, there's a spider. It is now 4.52, so we'll start it at five. We're gonna go five to six. That's gonna be our challenge. Most fish win. And if one of us catches a fish over two pounds, that is a bonus five points. So each fish is a point. Whoever has the most points at the end of the hour wins. What does the loser uh, have to do? Let the other one go through their phone? You would you would not stand a chance if that, if that was the case. If the winner got to go through the loser's phone, you wouldn't stand a chance at winning. Well, I've already gone through your phone, so. All right. Oh God, this is gonna be brutal. It's 4.59, so it's five o'clock. All right, so uh, challenge starts now. We're both using the netter, right? Oh, where did that Oh, I had a fish. Oh, I got him. Oh yeah, I got a fish. Oh, 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 did he come on? Oh, he's still there, he's still there. What is this thing? Is this thing even reeling? Hang on, let me tighten my drag. Oh no, it's a fish. Oh yeah, he's coming. Oh baby. Oh, first fish. <laughs> oh, it's one zero. Okay. That literally just popped out. That is uh, fish numero uno. Oh, that's that's a good one. Oh god! You're doing really good at this. <laughs> I can't remember. How to... I can't. <laughs> you're actually like, you're worse than Parrot at fishing. This is getting bad. Screw you. 
Oh, oh, I'm getting good at this. I'm gonna start fishing tournaments with this thing. I just cast it farther than I do with the bait caster. Oh, there's one. Oh, he came. Is he still there? Oh man. Oh, I, oh, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, oh baby. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, bass. Big in. Big in. It's about the same size. It is about the same size. <laughs> but fish, fish is what's gonna win this competition. Two to zero. Better step your game up. Oh, oh, swimming, swimming the net rig. Oh, here we go. This is, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start to feel bad pretty quick here. Actually, I'm not, but that's a uh, three. Boom. You have a fish? Yeah. Oh, Macy's got a fish. All right, Macy, Macy's got one. That's, that's a little guy. Of course, starting to get into the juice here. The juice? No, the juice, like orange juice, <laughs> apple juice, grape juice, juice, getting in the juice. Oh, 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 four. Bam. All right, number, uh, number four, boom. Fire wet. Watch out, geese. Got bass to catch. We out. See ya. Peace. Oh. Oh. I got a big one. I got a big one. Oh. Oh, we got a big one over here. Where's he at? Oh. There's a big one. Oh. There's a big one. Yep. All of uh, about a pound. Basically a toad, though. Five. How many do you have? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Number five. Hold mine just for a second. You know, you can cast it if you want. I don't care. Do you have a fish? Yeah. Oh my, did you see that? I gave her my pole because she's complaining hers isn't working and she freaking catches one. I'm pretty sure this proves that mine isn't working. No, look at that. Macy caught one. That's actually a pretty good sized one. That's dose. Two to six. Oh, wait, I don't know if that's even a fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. He was just playing possum. Get over here, boy. He's playing possum. He's just like, nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna fight. I ain't alive. I'm just chilling. Oh While uh, she's <laughs> attempting to make a cast, I caught number seven. I'll just cast out here. Going for the uh, offshore bass. That's where all the biggins are. Oh, I got one. I had, I had one. You got me stuck on something, though. Oh, I broke it. All right, I'm back. You didn't catch anything while I was tying this back on? No. Oh, what's up? Wait. Slacker? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh, did it come off? It came off. No. Oh, no, you still have it. Uh-oh. Look at this. Oh, oh, now you got the Ike and Ellie going on. <laughs> I like it. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh wow. One. Oh, wow, it actually is. Oh wow, that's easily okay, the biggest. that's the biggest. That's easily the biggest. Well, she just got the biggest. I said if it was over two pounds, you got the bonus. So you're at- Did we weigh that you're one? You're at three. This is not two pounds. I think we should check. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'll check. Yep, 0.93. <laughs> not even close. All right, Macy's got three. All right, Macy's gonna take the front for a minute. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. <laughs> You got four. <laughs> Son of a. I'm still. That's all right. I still got a three three fish lead. Feeling pretty comfy. Not so that's uh that's four for Macy. You need to fix it. So what I'm gonna do since I have such a tremendous lead on her, I'm gonna go to a uh, square bill. Reason being is I have confidence that's gonna catch the bigger fish. So now that I've got a pretty solid lead on her. If I, uh, if I can just seal the deal with a two pounder on this crankbait, there's no way she's gonna catch, there's no way she's gonna catch me because we only have like 20 minutes left. I'm gonna go to this crankbait, hope that I can catch one over two pounds and uh, call it a game and go through Macy's phone. Wow, this, the gear ratio on this, this reel is about one to one. So reeling this crankbait at any decent speed is pretty much impossible. That's how it was over the entire lake. Do you have one? Yeah, I think oh, so. God. Oh God. She's starting to gain. That's, that's five for her. 
Oh, oh did it come off? No. Nope. Oh, it's still there. Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. You got five. Let me take it off. Yes. All right. Well, I only have a two fish lead now, so I'm going to let her catch one more, and then I'm putting the netter back on and going down. That's uh, five. <laughs> I just about hooked you and me at the exact same time. There we go. Oh. Oh, what is it? Oh, I got one on the crankbait. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. Oh. oh, don't come off. Oh, he's probably not too. Dang it. All right, just caught a little piggy piggy. That is a number eight. That one's not quite two pounds, probably one and a half on that little, that little crankbait. All right, so we've got 10 minutes left. I'm going to put down the crankbait and pick up the popper. We found a little shaded area over here. And uh, we'll see if one of the big fish like the popper. All right, popper time. Oh God, that's gonna get real dirty. Oh, 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 baby, top water. Oh, oh, that dude smoked it. That's nine. He crushed that top water. Number, uh, number nine on the top water. I've caught a fish on every lure. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh no. That's oh. sick. Oh, he came off. Oh, he came off! <laughs> that was six. Oh, that's a money cast. Oh, he'd have been so close. Oh, 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 this top water's just crushing it. Oh, this may be, this may be. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. That's 10. I have one. That's uh, number 10. Oh, you got one. Did you not hear me? No, you got six. I said I have one. Oh, you got six? Yeah. You six to ten. She's making a comeback. Six to ten. Didn't go too soon. Oh my god, that just about hooked you in the face. I that actually just about hooked you in the face. Uh oh. I hooked you, almost hooked you in the face, and you caught a fish. That's seven. She's only three away, boys. Oh, it's a big oh, one. Oh it actually is a big one, isn't it? Oh gosh. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> I thought that was a big I thought that was a giant. There you go. Seven. Seven to uh, ten. <gasps> oh, we okay. Good. You need to not use that. Thing. All right, we good? Just caught the biggest one of the day. Okay, I'm actually frightened to be that either. She's she's all paranoid now. They she ain't got nothing to worry about. A few moments later. Excuse the bad lighting, but we uh we're ending the day. We had one hour to fish. I caught ten. She caught seven, so not bad. So you guys know on Andrew Foot Outdoors, I like teaching you guys how to fish. So we are gonna break down our tactics on what, what we did today to catch the 17 bass. She's gonna go over what she did. I'm gonna go over what I did. It's freaking fight night. Blood's fighting the Crips <laughs> over there. We got the Geese Wars of 2016 going on. What lure were you using? Oh, lure was worm looking thing. Um, new check? No. Nope. New jig? No. Nope. New rod, new reel, new lure. <laughs> Ned. Ned rig. Ned tour. Ned lure. Ned. It's just a Ned rig. Oh. So you were using the Ned rig, and then, like, how were you using Like, what were you doing? Um, every cast, you just fling it back, push the button, fling it forward, and pray that it went somewhere and not hook me. Yeah, which I did. I hooked myself and almost hooked her couple dozen times so once it hit the once it hit the water then what do you how did you what was your retrieval like well I did let it sit there and then you yelled at me for that so. I didn't yell at her I, I know I sternly directed her to do something different so then I switched to the uh, constant reeling yeah like a reel like a little jig jig reel reel you know yep so then for me I did the exact same thing and then I used a square bowl crank base a little bluegill one and basically you chuck it as close to the bank as you can and reel it as quickly as possible with, uh, without getting it all tangled up in the line. And then the popper, same thing. Chuck it as close to the bank as you can and then just kind of twitch it on the way out. For some reason the popper, I kept, I kept almost hooking her and hooking myself. I don't, that was just a bad decision using treble hook baits for this challenge. But we both made it out alive with no injuries, thank God. Caught a lot of fish, had fun. They weren't very big, I know. This is like a small fish lake. You guys have seen me fish it before. This is the lake that I caught 100 fish at out of a kayak. But we want to come here, have a fun challenge. I know you guys like seeing her not. What the? F 
What is that? I know you guys like seeing her and I compete against each other. It's just just have fun out on the water. If you guys want to see the OG video that her and I did, <laughs> we caught bluegill fishing with an eye bobber. If you want to see that, little card thing will slide up there and then I'll put the link down below. But we filmed a video together about like a year ago. Uh, that was our very first one that we filmed together and then so we wanted to film one more before the season ended. So that's all I've got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you want to see her and I fish or shoot guns or something together, you just let me know down in the comment section. Leave a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Now you gotta, you gotta have to go. Peace. You have to say peace. Why? Because that's how I end my videos. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Sometime today, Junior. Peace. <laughs> You're fired. If any girls watching want to come film videos with me. Okay. No. Stop. Not funny. <laughs> All right. Peace. You go first. <laughs> We're good.